If you want to drive fast, being able to rotate the car is of paramount importance. Many newer drivers believe this is done just by using the steering wheel, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. And by doing so, they're making themselves slow. Fast drivers are able to turn the car without the steering wheel, and it's a vital technique to learn if you want to squeeze as much time out of laps as possible. But what do I mean by rotation? If we take a look at the car from a bird's eye view and jab a pin through the middle of it, the car will spin around the centre point. When you steer in a car using the steering wheel, this is effectively what you're doing. Most drivers are taught that when you're turning into a corner, you need to let off the brakes and then feed the steering wheel into the turn. But by doing this, they're relying purely on the front tyres to get into the corner, which is not only slower, but it also increases tyre wear. Some corners require more rotation, especially the slower breed, and this simple act of rotation using the steering wheel won't cut it. We need a new method to gain more rotation, so we can get through the turn more efficiently. These fast drivers actually steer or rotate the car using the pedals, just as much as they do with the wheel. I know that sounds foolish, but it's true. Look at this, I'm going to lock my wheel to just 100 degrees of rotation, that's this much. Not a lot at all, especially to get for a tight turn. We approach it at some serious speed, and with not much steering to work with, we won't get through the turn in a million years. However, with the technique I'm about to show you, we can get through the turn with absolutely no issues. Well, maybe more issues than I expected whilst writing this script, but we managed to get farther than no pedal steering nonetheless. So how can you steer using the pedals and get the car to rotate more dramatically? There are actually a couple of techniques you should master. As we brake, the weight of the car is shifted forwards and loaded onto the front tyres. As we discovered in my Why Smooth Is Faster video, this extra load of weight gives the tyres more traction, thus making the car turn in better. But as soon as you let off the brakes, most of this extra weight is removed. So instead of lifting off, then turning in, what I want you to do is try turning whilst braking. Enter the braking zone and slam on the anchors. And as you start to lift off the brakes, turn the wheel into the corner. A general rule of thumb is the more steering you use, the less brakes should be applied. But you'll notice the car turns into the corner much faster this way. Or in other words, there is more rotation happening due to the shift of weight. And because we're blending both our steering and braking actions, this technique usually allows you to brake a lot later. And all of this combined equals faster lap times. If you haven't worked out yet, this technique is called trail braking. But it's not only on the entrance to a corner we can steer using the pedals. Say you enter a turn and you're noticing you're starting to understeer whilst on the throttle. This is because whilst accelerating, the weight is moved to the rear tyres, meaning the fronts don't have enough traction to steer. What you can do in this situation is lift off the throttle, once again moving the weight to the front tyres, allowing you to rotate the car mid-corner. This is called blending the throttle. If you want more rotation, be more aggressive with this blend. Less be more gentle. Just like this gentle transition into my next video in which we discover whether drifting or gripping is faster. <laughs>